So welcome, uh, November 26th to the CAS community meeting. Um, I think the, I, I don't have a ton of stuff today, maybe in part because it's Thanksgiving week here in the US. It kind of <laughs> makes things a little funny, but um, the few things that I did want to bring up, um, the, if I look at the notes from last time, um, the community reports are going well. Um, the Grimoire Lab call just prior is starting to work on the Jenkins X preliminary dashboard. And I can share it here in the minutes. So again, on these, on these community dashboards, the idea is to work with Zephyr and Jenkins X to put together just single short reports that help provide insight on their respective communities using chaos metrics. Um, one of the things that that has kind of come up is we're not hyper skilled in the community, obviously, for doing kind of graphics work. So I've reached out to some folks here at the university on the marketing side of things, and we can at least kind of bootstrap some of the way that this could look nice is the hope and then kind of work with folks at the Linux Foundation to polish it off. But I think we can at least make it look reasonable. So I know Georg is doing stuff right now for his, um, doing other stuff so he can't join. Um, so I think talking to Sean and Georg, it's mostly just about assembling the information um, and then kind of getting that information to me and I'll start polishing it up. I don't know if that was super clear, but essentially working with these communities to produce reports based on community metrics. I'm gonna take a first pass at them kind of aesthetically here at the university, and then we'll get them kind of wrapped up through the Linux Foundation. So we've been talking about these reports pretty extensively for a while. Um, does anybody have questions on any of these things? No. Um, I just had um, one thing to mention. So, so in my um, in, in a past life, I was um, you know fluent in, in design. Uh, I just like being a developer better. Um, but I definitely have a very very strong um, academic background, and um, you know um, I have my own unique style, I guess. Um, but I, you know I'm here to help. Uh, I'm able to. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't hear you at all. Uh, oh, that's why I was muted. So that's great. I totally appreciate the help because we really have no aesthetic style, <laughs> I, I would say. So, yeah. Yeah. You got everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, I, I hate being the designer because, uh -huh. you know, like, I like being the developer who appreciates design and design principles, you know, how, how, how we go about the whole uh, layering and separation of, you know, um, the various aspects of your layout, typography, content, and all of yeah. that. So, so yeah, structure-wise, I'm there. Um, Great. But, yeah, like, I, I don't necessarily aspire to design the next um, material <laughs> UI or anything, you know? No. <laughs> Totally fair. Well, I appreciate it. I've added you down in the notes as being willing to help in this regard. Um, again, our goal is to have these community reports done uh, before Chaos Con. So, but I don't think they're horribly complex either. Um, could could we just mention quickly when that is Chaos Con? Is um, yeah, January thirty first, oh, okay. to twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. So um, do we connect offline about this at some point? Or? Yeah, so we can connect offline because um, Georg is kind of leading the efforts around Jenkins X. 
using Grimoire Lab to produce the report. And Sean is working, kind of taking the lead with um, Zephyr to report, re produce the report using Augur. Yeah, those I'm not sure about. Um, okay. Zephyr yes, we can connect offline. Yeah, yeah, perfect. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. Thanks, Ella. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So looking at my other notes. So yesterday, you know, we're buying the, we're going to, I'm going to get some hats. Ray, I'm looking at you on this because you were on the community bridge talk. So we're trying to solve the community bridge problem right now. Community bridge, as far as I'm understanding, Ray, you can tell me if I'm wrong. They cannot invoice. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very limited. Uh, I mean, they, I mean, first of all, they can't do any business to business transaction, which is a big limitation. Uh, so basically, I mean, what ends up happening, what's going to end up happening for, for hats or other like a merchandise is, I mean, one of us will have to put it on a credit card and basically sort of expense it. That's sort of the only way that works. And then unfortunately, like, I mean, Georg uh, brought up in one of the email threads is that it, you, end up having to mix your, you know, personal finances with like a chaos expenses. But the the way the platform is, it's unfortunately, that's the only thing we can do. You can't like even directly like invoice like a hotel uh, to pay for uh, like a catering or, or the, for the room um, and directly have the money come from like community bridge. So it's, it's like a pretty uh, severe limitations. And then next rev of their platform it doesn't seem like they have uh it's probably not going to be until like middle of next year is that sort of what okay. what i what we heard uh georg and i heard what the lf uh product manager um and, and the other interesting thing that we found was that when you make donations you can only do in like whole dollar amounts like you can do fifty dollars but you can't do fifty dollars and fifty cents so i don't i don't know why that is okay. yeah so like uh, yeah so anyhow that's that's kind of a net but um yeah i mean i i think this person she started like in like a july time frame so it's, it's pretty new and they, they realize a lot of limitations okay um with the first iteration of uh um of uh community bridge and some of the feedback that we provided they, they've heard from like other people at the Linux foundation too so that they need to work through that, but yeah. Did you get a sense if the the one version two would allow for business to business? Uh, that is, um, I mean, they're looking at options. They're looking at some vendors that would allow them to do that. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, I think they. She mentioned that they had some like a legal or tax reasons why that couldn't be done in the first rep, but they're looking at vendors that could accommodate that, but. Um, I mean, one of the suggestions I made, um, I don't know if this is doable because she, she talked about like a virtual, like a debit card, like, I mean, rather than a virtual debit card, why don't you give like these projects, like a, like a credit card that we can use? Um, That'd be nice. and then, like, yeah, I mean, chaos will have one credit card, like other projects will have another credit card that they can use and then just charge it directly to that card. Um, so they're going to look into that, but I mean, having been on that side, like on the LF side, like a year and a half ago, this is kind of a long slog and yeah, we'll see, cross our fingers and see if, uh, the rep two comes along at some point next year. Okay. Uh, okay. So just yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thanks Sorry. For I mean, I, I, I kind of vented there, but like I, you're probably more details oh. than you wanted, but <laughs> The vent for me, the vent stems from the fact that we have a fair amount of money in there. In yeah, and it's, it's community it's, bridge and right. spending is a kind of a hassle. Right, they made it really hard. Um, <laughs> so, and then I mean, even for like us, I mean, Matt, you you had to jump in and help help with the invoice, right? That's yeah. You know, I made a point there, like you can't expect all the businesses to allow people to. I mean, having the budget approved, that was not a big deal. I approved it, but. You know, the our finance is going to, yeah, our finance is not going to be happy if I charge it on my card. And um, so <laughs> yeah, I hear you. That, that's how uh, it goes. But, okay. Yeah. Um, and I don't like the idea of community members having to pay out of pocket, like small things. Right. Fine. 
but if we're doing like hotel rooms or you right, know, right, yeah, I mean that's that's sort of the point that Georg made it made it more eloquently than I. Uh, it says, I mean, you're asking like Georg to put, you know, a few thousand dollars on his credit card, and you know, yeah. I know the LF is good for it, but that doesn't seem right. But, no, exactly. Yeah. And it just took a little while. Okay, well, yeah. thanks for meeting and. No worries. Yeah. So Thanks we for passing on the information. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> uh, well, in that case, then just so everybody knows, I'm going to be buying hats. I'm going to buy hats with little pom poms on them. They're gray hats with a chaos chaos should, logo, and then should. I'm going to buy a ton of stickers for Fosdem, and I'm just I'll bring them myself, and Kevin's coming along too. So um, I'm only going to buy enough hats for I think speakers for ChaosCon. So they're like $25 a piece, something along those lines. So it's, you know, it's not completely inexpensive. It's not right. terribly expensive. So By that, you mean speakers and organizers, right? I do. <laughs> I just didn't finish my sentence. You're talking, Don, just get it over with. <laughs> there was a point we raised last meeting about having them actually delivered to the hotel or to the event as opposed to uh, traveling with I could, I could try that. I think if I only get them for speakers and organizers, it's not going to, it's not too many. So yeah, yeah. it's not going to be that bad. And they're just hats. I can smash a lot of them into my suitcase. It'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, you should share the image. It looked it look nice. Like, uh, that might yeah. encourage people to submit to CFP. <laughs> you get a hat. <laughs> yeah, you get a hat. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Still accepting talks. The deadline's yeah. the thirtieth. Right. Admitted uh, <laughs> one. I have to say. That's a custom. I gotta figure out where. Uh, Sim Cascon is somewhere on the agenda. We should talk about. Yeah, I didn't know. the CFP. Talk about it. Um, I do want to talk about it with the whole group before we break out into like kind of the sub team meeting, just because we. We probably need, I haven't looked at CFPs. I should do that first. Sorry, I'm negligent from being on holiday, but. Um, that is not negligence. That is a good thing. <laughs> it's a lovely holiday. Um, but we should probably do a last minute promotion and a last minute push, including um, with the Linux Foundation. Okay, I can do that here. I'm, let me get, I'm gonna get the picture of this in there. Um, Somewhere. But I totally agree. And I, I'm super curious on how many submissions we have so far. There's the hat. I put it in the minutes. The answer is 18 submissions. Oh, um, as you know, great. some of them were not, yeah. not valid submissions. So I haven't looked through the new ones. OK. Um, um, OK, let me, um, let me just do one last thing, and then we can talk about ChaosCon. Cool. So, um, you see the hat? It's in the minutes. Oh, can you share the link to the minutes? Yeah. Thank you. I'm getting there. All right, there you go. Um, so then I guess the one thing before chaos kind is the just to kind of keep people posted, you know, the metrics release work. Um, I was talking to Georg maybe yesterday and it looks, it looks like we're going to have about 10 metrics across the working groups that are being um, advanced for the second release, which is really great. Um, I think we had, you know, maybe 15 in the first round and, and 10 in the second. So a lot of that work is done. All of the metrics templates have been updated. And um, so thanks for everybody for, for kind of doing that. That's all that I wanted to say there. Just I think it's really moving forward positively. Um, I did want to point out to Don in common, you inherited a metric. We gave you one. Uh, yeah, I saw something about that come okay. through my email, but I haven't, haven't looked at it yet. But it, basically it was just- I glanced at it. It seemed reasonable. Yeah, I think it, it totally fit with the new kind of categories that you have in mm -hmm. common. Um, I kind of forget where it originated, but it, as we talked through it, it just kind of ended up 
continuing to fall back into common. So cool. that's what that is. What is the uh, what is the freeze date for the uh, metrics release? Um, the end of December. Is the hope. Okay. So that should hopefully that'll give you enough time, Kevin. To I mean, we'll have a comment period. But are we doing the full thirty days for the comment period? Uh, I think we're going to do three weeks. Okay. So like anything that you give a deadline to, there's very little activity in the first week, <laughs> very little activity in the second week. And most of the activity occurs right at the end. So um, I think it always, it always takes as long as you have. Right? Yeah, exactly. So I think three weeks should be sufficient. Does that, how much time do you need, do you think, to kind of get them out of the state in um, GitHub into the website? Uh, once the so uh, about a week, I, I think the, in general, it'll take me about a week. Uh, yeah. and I'll start, I'll start working on it about a week before the freeze. Yeah. Uh, so when the freeze happens, everything should just be live. Okay. So. That sounds great. Okay. Um, so that's, that's the deadline, probably just for, you know, right after Christmas kind of thing, late December. Okay. Um, so anyway, any other comments on metrics release stuff? Like I said, I think it's going very, very well. So I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, so chaos. Uh, actually, sorry, one yeah. last point. Yeah, sorry. I'm sure. Um, yeah, so uh, yesterday we finished uh, in, in the diversity inclusion, we finished the sponsorship metric. Um, um, so um, I basically made the PR and I, I'm an Excel, like, you know, old soul. I like to use, you know, all the features and, and minimal uh, manual work. So I proposed the idea of moving uh, the status uh, formatting of each row um, to use uh, conditional formatting. Um, and basically, uh, yesterday, I, I, you know, got, you know, everybody's feel in the group. And we said, okay, we're just going to try it out on one row in the WG um, sheet. Uh, sorry, WG um, DNI sheet, yep. um, and um, I, I just wanted to run it by everyone. If that's an idea, we want to maybe um, replicate throughout the spreadsheet. Um, so if you look at row forty-one, where I added a, co a comment, um, I can share my screen. That also, yeah, go ahead. I'm in there too, but sharing would be great. Yeah. So. Um, let me just get stuff you guys don't see out of the way. It's, it's in my way. I see, I see just your spreadsheet right now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I'm not just you know pointing at nothing and doing silly things. Anyways, um, yeah, row 41. Um, so so basically, get rid of this. Um, so I made this into a um, a data field that basically has validation, and I put in all the valid status options. Obviously, you can type whatever you want because I don't say reject. I just, um, and then based on this, the row will be, yeah. So, so right now this is uh, ready, and it should be that. So, um, so basically, the legend is here, and it has the same formatting. So, if I basically just copy the style from here and put it here, then it effectively does the same thing. Yep. Um, and so I, I can go ahead and, and port all the other sheets, but I, I have one issue with certain um, column A's having things that are um, not expected. Um, I just don't know what you guys prefer to do. The current behavior is that it will do something like this. It will just be a clear field. Um, we could default to this appearing as one of those two options, but I don't think that's always the intent. If it's not one of the options, the intent is not clear. You're talking about cell like, A29? Yeah. Yeah, because that's where it populates the, um, the status from, really. So, yeah, so really, I think that whatever got dropped into A29 there should probably just move to the right. Yeah, we should make like, comments. Like, 
yeah, notes or comments or something like that. Yeah. All right. That's yep. great. And just make that wide enough um, so that are, are we expecting any other any other columns to be added to the list or? No, I think that's great. And in fact, I mean, on new template, that's a column that's going to go away here shortly anyway, because that was mostly just me tracking the initial release because they were on the old template and I just had yeah. to track. So, uh, and, and that was the second thing. Um, so, so for me, I, I thought it was like uh, templates um, have like internal versions. Like as someone coming new to the project, if um, you know, um, in the past when we revised templates, we usually had in the footer a serial number of the template, and and so people um, releasing documents from the same template would track the same internal version of that template. I know this is overkill for most uh, people, but maybe this column here is actually thinking of. Future-wise, if if template was revised, chances are template could be revised in the future, um, and maybe we don't want to have a version, but we'd rather just make sure that there are no revised templates, um, or you know, so so this column would always either imply that there are no revised templates. We're using the current one from the initial from the previous release, or mm -hmm. there is a revised template, and we have to make sure that this column is uh, filled, basically. Yeah, I think that's totally fair, what okay. you say. Because I mean, I think you're right. It's completely possible that a year or two down the road, <laughs> there's a slightly new, there's a change to the template that we're using now. I think that's what you're trying to capture, isn't it? Yes, yes. Like not go overkill as give template yeah. version serial numbers and prefixes, but uh, just, <laughs> just leave it as a potential reoccurring thing. All right. Fair. Thanks. Thanks, Tala. And thanks for <laughs> liking to do this in Excel things, <laughs> spreadsheets. <laughs> I appreciate that. And yeah, if you could... yeah. Another thing I don't like to necessarily do full time, but I can do as I do other things, right? So, yeah. <laughs> well, very, very much appreciated. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is great. All right. Um, yeah, okay. we asked we asked him to bring this into the um, the main meeting just because if we're going to do this for DNI and it's a really great kind of addition, we might as well do it for everybody. It makes a ton of sense. It'll help a lot. Okay, great. All right, thanks. Um, okay, any other comments on the metrics release tracking? Okay, um, thank you. And just um, just so. So, well, okay, so let's go to ChaosCon. I had one other thing too, but let's go to ChaosCon. Um, Don, did you want to? Uh, quick, comment, quick comment before moving to ChaosCon. So uh, it's just to say I'm, uh, I'm involved in the uh, uh, organization of the Inner Source Commons, as you know. And this is basically happening at the same time as the Common Working Group. So it's just to say that I'm trying to, but uh, I don't find the time to attend this meeting. So we may change the date, but it's just to say that uh, I cannot do the meetings, so. Which meeting? Oh, again? Which one? Which oh, the meeting common, common, common metrics working group. Ah, uh, the Thursday one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. How has attendance been in the common working group while I was uh, gone, Matt? Three to four, kind of the usual suspects. Yeah. What I'm wondering is, is if it's kind of at a bad time for people who would like to attend, but can't. Yeah, I would say that evolution, you know, which is the counter yeah. time, it's also about the same number. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, maybe we should think about that. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a risk here and move on to chaos, Ken. <laughs> did you say you had one other thing to talk about, too? Because we yeah, should talk about something else. Okay, well, I just wanted to, just as a reminder for folks that um, you mentioned this last week, and maybe this is for Don, too, but if it came up in the DNI working group yesterday, but Matt Snell received some university funding to move forward on the DNI badging project. 
So it's a way to start thinking about how we could use the DNI metrics that are put forward in the DNI. Remember we had talked about kind of advanced, like uh, kind of working out all of the event DNI metrics. Mm -hmm. So we actually put together a badging program. Matt got some university dollars here to actually start building out a prototype of what that would look like. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Oh, that's, that's great. One. Yeah. Um, so Matt, I don't think you've done done anything yet, but to be done soon. Yes. Okay. That's my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. I will record that. <laughs> well, congrats on the funding, though. That's great. Thank you. Um, okay. So uh, that was it. That was my only other thing. Awesome. Um, so on on Chaos Con, I did just look, and we do have we have eighteen submissions. There's one duplicate, and at least. I don't know, probably five to seven that are completely irrelevant and um, have nothing to do with metrics. We wanna, uh, do we want to stop recording if we're talking about the CFPs? Uh, no, let's, let's leave it for right. Let's leave it on for right now because what, what I, so my ask is, so it looks like we probably have about 10 good submissions uh, or 10 submissions that are relevant, um, which is not a lot to pick from to fill uh, an entire day. And the diversity, just glancing through them right now, is not awesome. So I think we need to do a better job of reaching out and trying to get people to submit talks and getting some promotions to the Linux Foundation. Understanding that this is uh, this is terrible timing because it's Thanksgiving week, isn't it, in the U.S.? Um, mm -hmm. it certainly is. <laughs> and when, I close, it, when does when is the thirtieth? The thirtieth is this weekend. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> So it wasn't Saturday. Let yeah. me ask you a question. Has, has um, on that list is there a last name Goggins anywhere? Um, no. Okay, so I can. There's going to be a couple. Yeah. There, and then is how about the? I know that Daniel had mentioned some folks. Um, okay, a, now now let's go ahead and stop the recording and talk in more detail. Now that I've made my pitch for getting the promotion of the.